Okay, so I'm now going to demonstrate an uh, eye examination uh, of the level suitable for a paediatrician. Um, and uh, I'm going to go through, the, through that with this nice young lady who's come along as a volunteer to help me with that. Um, one of the things that people forget to do when they're examining eyes in children, and they can be asked later and they may not know, is whether the pupils are round, regular and equal. It seems an obvious thing, but just to draw that to your attention. But I'm going to examine her eyes and peripheral visual fields. I'm going to ask, examine the range of movement of her eyes. Um, and I'm also going to look at her retina and um, check her from that point of view as well. So, off we go. Hello, what's your name? Lila. Hello, Lila. Uh, nice to meet you, Lila. I would just like to have a look at your eyes and see if they're working all right. How does that sound? Good. Do you think your eyes are okay? Yes. Hmm. And what colour are your eyes? Grey and brownish. Hmm. Are you sure they're not white? Because there's, there's a white bit there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I've asked children they've said their eyes are white, which I, you know, I can see that as well. Okay. So I first of all want to check your eyes are working for reading and stuff. Do you wear glasses at all? No. No. Okay. So can you cover one of your eyes and I'm going to ask you to read something. It's quite easy to read. It's not particularly a big word. Okay. So could you read that? Catch it. Yeah. Let's hope we don't catch it, eh? Yeah. That wouldn't be a good plan, would it? Okay. And then I want to check your other eye. So can you cover... And let's have a look. And this sounds a bit scary. Kill it. Well, we're talking about books, aren't we here? We're talking about books. We're not talking about people. No? Okay, that's very good. Okay, so the next thing I'd like you to do is I'm going to put my finger out here. I'm going to bring it here. And I want you to look out to this one, out here, this one, and then look back at the other one. Take your time. Just look back out to that one out there. Just slowly. You don't need to go quickly in and out. You're doing that very well. Yeah, and I can see her pupils are accommodating. And I'm just going to shine this um, light in your eye in order to check that your pupils are reacting to light. So look straight ahead. Another thing people use is not thermoscope for this purpose. You're not supposed to use a focused source of light. So look straight ahead. And easy peasy. And I do the other thing on the other side. Okay, that's fantastic. The next thing I'd like to do is I want to ask you to follow my finger whilst keeping your head still. I want to see your eyes moving. Keep your eyes nice and still. That's good. You did it better than before this time. That's a good girl. Did you see one or two fingers there? Right. Just one. Thank you very much. Now I've got a fun thing to do with you. It's not really a game, but it's a bit tricky to do it. Lila. So, I'm at the same level as you, and I would like to ask you to cover one of your eyes, and I'm going to cover one of my eyes. And I'd like you to have a look at my nose, my funny old nose there, and then look at your nose. Try not to look anywhere else, just keep staring at that nose, and I'm going to bring my finger. I when see you it. see it, you tell me. I see it. Mm -hmm. Try not to look for it now, keep looking at your nose. I see it. Uh huh. I see it. Wow, you're better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's swap over eyes. I want you to cover your other eye now. Mm -hmm. I'll look at my nose. I'm going to look at your nose. I see it. I see it. I see it. And I see it. Fabulous. Your eyes are fantastic. I also want to have a look in your eyes with a light. Special light here. And 
the first thing to establish when looking into um, the um, retina before even doing that is to make sure the, the child's got a red reflex. We need to dim the lights in the room a bit. So, switch this on. Good. And now, yeah, sorry about that. I'm now focusing the uh, ophthalmoscope to make sure it's focused to my um, eyes, taking a distance for that. Okay. And what I'm going to do here, I want you to look straight ahead and um, I'm going to look at one eye at a time. And what I want you to do, look ahead. And when I look into this, look into your pupil, it's going to come really close to you like that. I want you to look straight ahead. Try not to look around. You're allowed to blink, okay? But try not to look about. So 15 degrees to midline. Just look straight ahead there, thank you. Yeah. Okay, and then coming in straight onto midline. I'm trying, to, trying to look straight ahead. I think you're going to find this a little bit too tricky, aren't you? Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think we'll do the fundi examination because she's finding it a little bit tricky and sort of... Thank you very much.